A new AI automation no-code platform has been launched, and this is the perfect opportunity for creators to build their thumbnails with, and AN is done. And not that they actually mean that, but they certainly grab some attention. The thing about this new no-code platform is that you can actually create entire workflows by just asking a copilot to do that for you. So this is the agentic capability for building workflows that I've been talking about for, I don't know, the last six months. Dragging and dropping around some nodes is already easy, but there's something even easier than that. Just asking an AI to do what you want. So just for the fun of it, I've written create a telegram bot that has a calculator tool attached to it. That's it. Let me hit enter, have it created, and let me go over to NAN and try to create the same thing. So I think we need a trigger. It needs an on message trigger. Then this needs to be connected to an AI agent. This AI agent should have a calculator tool. Nice. Let's look back. It's still thinking. Now let's attach a chat model to that. So yeah, I mean, let's go with, I don't know, open AI. Okay, should be fine. Let's look at that, still building. And now I think we have everything. Yeah, I mean, we would probably, yeah, actually we need to add whatever is the input from the Telegram trigger. So let me trigger that. I'd have to test Telegram to see what is the message that it receives, like how is the structure of the JSON so that I could import it inside of my AI agent. Okay, let me open up Web Telegram. I don't know if my account is already connected. Not sure. No, it isn't. Okay, my account is not connected yet, so let me connect it right. Yeah, and while I was just connecting my Telegram to get that, this is what Sim AI generated for me. So let's take a look at this. It seems like you always kind of need this node. Then apparently there's this kind of a trigger node from Telegram, and then we have actual calculator node. I didn't think I'd have to specify that it needs to be an agent, but yeah, let me do that. The Calculator tool should be attached to an AI agent node. Okay, after I accept that workflow, now I can actually, do I have to run it or something? No, let me skip. Okay, now I hit enter, hit enter, 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 enter. Nothing is going on. Oh no, it's actually thinking. Workflow execution skipped. Oh nice, so if I were to run the workflow, it would understand what went on inside of that execution and probably try to fix the workflow so that it's more accurate to what I asked it to do. Pretty interesting. But now let me ask it to create an actual AI agent with the calculator tool. So yeah, I'm not even going to continue this workflow. Since Mark also showed us that NAN is planning to launch a very similar feature. As you can see in his video, there is a similar co-pilot chat interface on the right where you just talk to NAN and have everything being generated there. Although I believe there is a difference from when you create the tool already expecting it to have agentic capabilities from where you kind of try to make it use uh, the tools and the nodes and all the JSONs that you already have. And that's kind of comparing Copilot in VS Code with Cursor, for example. You just get a much better result from Cursor overall. And by the way, since I mentioned Mark, I am not subscribed to him with this channel that is kind of my dummy channel for recording videos, but I certainly am in my personal profile. He is certainly someone that knows what he's talking about. So feel free to check out his channel. Okay, so apparently it didn't remove that giant dumb node that it created. Let me delete this block. And some things here, like if you command Z or control Z or FNZ, start Z, nothing Z can actually bring back what you were working on. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. So I've started a new workflow and I'll place in a better prompt. Build a Telegram bot. This should have a Telegram trigger node connected to an AI agent node, which should contain a calculator tool attached to it. Finally, it should have a node to answer back the Telegram message. Let me enter and let's see what we get. I've seen some videos about Sim AI and I really think this is a powerful tool. It seems to be backed by Y Combinator. I think they are in a much better direction. I think like the way that they're building this has more potential to be even better than NAN, but for the current moment, it definitely isn't. And even so, the market share for NAN is so huge right now that they could actually implement these type of things pretty fast. Pretty strange, it thought for 20 seconds and then ignored <laughs> everything. So let me send that message again. By the way, this copilot feature I'm using isn't the only way to 
create the entire workflow, you can create it by just dragging the nodes in there, similar to how you do it in NAN as well. I just wasn't able to use this Copilot feature self-hosted. And while I mentioned self-hosted, let's actually go over to the Sim AI repository and let's install this on our own computer. The only thing you'll really have to have is Docker installed. And it's as easy as just going over to Docker and really installing it in either Mac, Linux, or Windows. After you have that installed, just go over to your terminal, open that up. I'll go to my downloads folder. Now just grab this command, paste it in there. It'll clone the repository into your own folder. Now get inside of that folder, cd space sim for that. Grab this command, paste it in there, and this should start your sim local version. If it doesn't, check Docker desktop to see if anything else isn't running. So for example, if you're running like Postgres, that port would be occupied and then it like it wouldn't run. So let me open up port 3000. Just make sure to fill in that form, hit create account, email verified, uh, and now you get the actual interface. Now the problem is when you head over to the copilot and you type in something like hi, you'll get this message. The solution for this, at least from their documentation, is just heading over to their actual website, logging inside of your account, heading over to settings, grabbing an API key from this. So let me create an API key like sim blah, create API key, you'll get this, then you'd head back here, go over to environment, paste that there. And in their documentation, they specify that the name of the environment variable should be copilot API key. So let me head back, place that in there, hit save changes. And now you'd think that you'll be able to use this, but no. And then when you open the settings, you'll see that the environment variables that you just set are in there. I mean, I tried doing a bunch of different things like make it workspace scoped, and then it would go up there. Then I'd hit save changes and it's not there anymore typing in anything and hitting add variables a bunch of times and also placing it in the workspace scope, then hitting save changes, but it's not there anymore. I mean, I even tried placing it inside of the actual code for sim AI, but yeah, nothing really worked. Okay, that done back to our workflow. Now I believe that it was successfully created. You see that they have a calculator tool here and then we got a workflow error. Probably because I got that error and I refreshed the page, it lost all the nodes that it had previously implemented. But still, having an agent connected to a workflow builder like this is fantastic because you allow non-technical people to understand the overall setup that they need to perform to have a bot working. Most people won't understand that you have to allow some kind of integration between your Telegram with that workflow that you're setting up. And when you have everything explained in here, it's much better than having the person always go over to ChatGPT or to Claude or any other AI assistant, ask, hey, what do I do now? And then copy all the JSON, like, like just really copying this entire workflow, pasting it in ChatGPT, and then asking, what do I do now? When you use an agent like this, everything is already integrated and it's much faster for new users and faster for whoever already knows how to build a workflow. I've been feeling that myself while building inside of a cursor or a cloud code, just because it's much faster than actually typing in code or anything. And the same is definitely possible for no code platforms like these. As of Sim AI, I really think that we're going to hear more about it in the next weeks. And it's really exciting to have tools like this pushing the industry to having really better tools for builders like us. That is it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.